Hello everyone, Paul Hiley here, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about why do people like getting strong. Now there's obviously, obviously there's the physical benefits. Uh, it makes you, you are physically more able to lift things. Um, yeah, so I mean, that it's as simple as it sounds, isn't it? Now obviously, with, that, so that could be just be in general life. General everyday life. Say you're at the house, you want to you you want to do some rearranging. You want to move bedside cabinet from there to there. You go to move your bedside cabinet and you can't move it because it is too heavy. But here's that, and the nasty truth is, you're too weak to lift this heavy thing. I don't mean that nastily, but it is a fact. And sometimes you just got to be brutal. You just got to be brutal. You're too weak to lift this particular heavy thing. Um, so there you go. So why do people bother getting strong? So in their day-to-day -day life, you have the ability to lift heavy things. Outside of day-to-day -day life, maybe you want to compete. Be a strong man, strong woman, co a competitive strong man or strong woman. You want to, you know, there are competitions in that. Uh, your, your competition's all over the all over the place. Maybe your goal is to do one of the big ones, be Britain's strongest. Europe's strongest, world's strongest, you know. Obviously, you're not going to be able to achieve any of that week. So, um, yeah, because I've I kind of had a similar-ish uh, conversation like this with my dad a few years ago. Because he's, he's not weak, but he doesn't really see much of the point of getting silly strong, if you like. Silly strong, we'll, sorry, we'll call it that way. Uh, obviously, I slightly disagree, <laughs> but uh, as I said on my previous video, how my goals have changed, they've come more down to the idea of being realistic, more realistic goals. Yes, I do want to compete in strongman, but I want to keep myself under 90 kilos, um, maybe 89, 89 kilos at the top. Um, so I'm going to have to be able to work out that, like, that. That that balance of being really of being really strong because you know that strong people win these strength events, don't they? It's about as simple as that. Uh, so um, so yeah, I want to I want to be so strong as I can get, but I have put that weight limit on myself because one of the negatives about uh, getting really strong is they can. In a lot of the cases, it can affect your ability to move and, you know, get around and, you know, it, it, can, it can affect your physical health. So the, the strength side of it can be through the roof. I talk about, but your conditioning can be like pff, total, total flat out, sort of like, you know, you're <sighs> breathing to get to the top of the stairs. Oh, I don't ever want to be fighting for breath once I once I get to the top of the stairs case so uh, yeah so that's one of them so the, obviously there's the physical side of getting strong why do why do people do it so they are more physically strong any way you look at it and I mean yeah you I mean obviously this is more directly focused to the more barbell strength sized activity but it can also play over you don't have to Sprinters, think how strong a sprinter is, right? So it's not just a matter of, I think, athletics. Any athlete in the world, in part of any athletic endeavour, or any particular sport, being stronger than your opponent is going to help you. Now, people might say, well, they're only running. Like, yeah, but if you've got the strength in your legs to explode off the floor quicker than the other people, you're going to get in front, and you're going to keep in front. And because you, because you are stronger, you are able to exert more force. Essentially, you're going to be quicker. Part of the reason you're quicker is because you are stronger. And strength... Exerting force, boom. So yeah, there's so there's the physical side of it. Um, 
Also würde ich mich sagen, äh, Mental Health. Mental Health. Being, um, doing anything physical is an achievement. And this could be anything. This could be moving that bedside table from there to there. You know? You feel better in yourself because you have moved that there and there. Maybe you don't feel better in yourself because you moved it, but it wasn't the only way it was going to move from there to there. On this situation, is if you personally done the physical activity of moving the thing to there. So yeah, it makes your it makes your ability to live your life easier if you are you haven't got to be mega strong. You haven't got to be mega strong, but you've just got to be strong enough to be able to deal with everyday life that little bit better if you were weaker. A lot of people might look at... I think the problem is, when people think strength athletes, they all think strong men. Because this what gets... Well, in the UK, it's what we see every Christmas uh, through to the New Year. On Channel 5, we all watch the world's strongest man, Britain's strongest. All the strongman competitions are televised over then. So when people think about, oh, so-and-so wants to be a, a strong man, so-and-so wants to like be big and strong, they're just going to end up looking like this person with the power belly. Well, well they, don't call them, they don't call it a power belly because they, they, they call it a fat belly. Basically, don't they? So they say they just want to be like that, and they're gonna, you know, they're not, they're not gonna be able to walk up the stairs. They're not gonna be able to. They're gonna be gasping for breath, walking around because they're carrying all that extra weight. So this is the problem. This is the big problem that needs to be looked past: is size. Like I say, the second you hear so and so lifts weights, they're pretty strong. They're like, yeah, I bet they're big hench Arnie size as well. Now, obviously, that does happen. More so with men because we have the, no, the tes testosterone in us. Whereas we get stronger, in general, the heavier we lift stuff, we our muscles do get larger. It happens less in women because they have like 10 times less testosterone than us. That's why women don't grow beards and... You know, their voices don't, don't drop and what have you. Now, I'm not a scientist, so don't be shouting down at me on this one. I'm just... <laughs> on this case, I am just making a generalisation. I do apologise. Obviously, there are exceptions to every rule. But what people have to try and understand is that just because you are strong or you are getting stronger doesn't necessarily mean because you are the size of a house. Okay? It doesn't. And like I say, if you're like me, you're glad of that, because you want to get strong to a degree, but you don't want to get... I mean, size-wise, yeah. I'll, I'm going to look bigger if I get to... Once I get to 89 kilos, at the moment I'm around 79. 79 kilos. I... I went on the scales a while ago because there's a competition going on. But I'm going to mention that at the end because I've not quite made my mind up. And I'll explain why at the end. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I say, that's the... Uh, people look at... People think about strength athletes or strong men, strong women. And they assume they're going to be these huge giants. And that is just not the case. Are they stronger than the lighter categories? Yes, yes they are. One of the scientific facts, well, fact-ish, mass moves mass. You know, I think when Eddie Hall deadlifted 500 kilograms, I think he weighed 190-odd kilograms. Jesus, that's big. So, yeah, so, yeah, if you do want to get mega strong, obviously, the bigger you are, it makes it easier to be a bit stronger but again, if being physically healthy is also a big deal for you, you might not get to that, right, that, that, that peak level, you know, that big, 
grand stage, world's strongest man opens finals that we watch Christmas and New Year. Why else is it good to be strong? Because I believe providing providing you're healthy with it as well, you know, it can prolong your life. Now I know a lot of people are going to shoot me right down on this one because there was a jogger, a famous jogger uh, in America. I remember Bill Hicks done a skit about him. Uh, he was uh, famous for knowing all about jogging and he had a heart attack and died while he was jogging. So I suppose it's not really a good advocate for fitness. But he wasn't a strength athlete, he was a jogger. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it. I mean, I mean, I I could be wrong. I could be wrong. People can say, "Oh no way, no way, no way." One name, one name, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Felix. Mark Felix. He's the British strong strength athlete, strong man, 53, 53, 54 years of age, and he's just won the Masters. And I mean, he he's a unit of a man, and he didn't. I, I think he was in like his late thirties when he started with strongman. But, uh, yeah, personally, I think the fact that he is strong and healthy, um, I don't see how it, how, I don't see how it could not prolong his life. Yes, all right, we'll go back to the size bit then, and we will talk about the maybe slightly, let's say, unnatural advantages, PEDs, steroids, you know, uh, obviously in, in that, in that case of in that case of events, if you're if you're I mean yeah all right if you're strong because you have uh, drugs, <laughs> let's just cut to the chase. No point being too subtle about this. Let's just say if you the only reason why you not the only reason, a chunk of the reason you are strong is because you are gilled up to the eyeballs in drugs. That's not going to do a lot for your life in the long run. But if you go, if you get that, if if you get strong, clean, and uh, and in, and in the health, the, the cleanest and healthiest way you can do it, natural. If you you know, you know, if if you're strong and you're natural and there's nothing inside of you which is giving you a chemical imbalance. Basically, there's nothing in you that you've put in yourself that isn't like a natural food or substance of some sort, then I, I just don't see how it's not going to help prolong your life. I mean, let's face it, the, the healthiest person in the world could get knocked over by a car tomorrow. But if, if, you, if you're going hell, if, if, you're going all, if you're going hell in leather, but you're, do, you're going healthy, I, I, don't, I don't see how it, I just don't see, I don't, well, the science, the science of being, what does it say, um, healthily strong. I say, let's say you're mega strong, but you're mega healthy. I, I, I don't see how scientifically that's going to kill you off earlier. I mean, you know, you know, a, you know the human body, it, you know, anyone, I mean, is the sad fact of the matter is anyone could die of anything. <laughs> Medically. Uh, you know, you, there, there can be underlying illnesses people have got they don't know know about. An aneurysm, a brain aneurysm. For when you were... Well, there's been just... Some of this just been sat there waiting and then goes and then... You know, and you, and you can be fit and healthy when it happens. But... Generally speaking, I'm, I'm I'm talking about the generally generally speaking, if you, if you, if there is nothing underlining, underlying, uh, I I don't I don't see how getting stronger is going to make your life shorter. Again, like I say, providing it's healthy, providing you're doing it healthy, as long as you are putting nothing illegal <laughs> or. Or, or even under legal. I mean, I don't, I don't know anything about performance enhancing drugs, to be honest with you. I think the only one everyone seems to know a lot about is steroids, which obviously hasn't got the best reputation in the world. Uh, roid rage and 
you know, people who have had heart attacks and stuff through their use of steroids. So, uh, yeah, provided, uh, but no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand on this hill. I say getting stronger can help prolong your life. If you're doing it healthy, if you're taking nothing, if you if you are taking no drugs, if you are just eating the right food, lifting, and getting the right rest, what amount of rest, eat, sleep, train, repeat. I don't see how that can make your life shorter. I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. But like I say, if people have got more to add to this, please drop a message in the comments and uh, I'll look into it. I'll, I won't take everyone's word at face value. I will. I'll study it further and I'll see how. Um, I'll see how getting strong healthily naturally i'll see how it can shorten someone's life but uh yeah i've got to be honest I, I i don't see how that's me myself obviously speaking i mean it's good for the internal organs as well good for your heart good for your lungs keeps your keeps your body very really, you've got the right diet keep you the diet's good for like all your indig your indigestion bits uh yeah, I, again, I, I, I don't see the negatives. Well, let's look at it then. Let's say, so so the pros, so let's just see a little bit. I'll, I'll do this one talk again. So positives for getting stronger. Obviously, the health aspect. Again, providing this is all, this is, this is, this is total generalised level. Yeah. And take out any drugs. So say this is just, Someone who's just eating the right food, lifting for strength, and uh, and getting in the um, sufficient amount of rest. So the, what's, the, what's the positives? Well, physical health. Straight away, you can just chuck that one straight out, straight in there. Physical health. And there's no arguing that one. I'm sorry, but there isn't. Mental health. Yeah. It improves your mental health. You, you are... Every time you lift, you successfully lift any given weight for a purpose, it's an achievement. And I'll say, this could be anything. This could be you wanted to move. Let's go back to the bedside table analogy. You wanted the bedside table there to there. And you wanted to do this job yourself. Many a time when we've, four kids uh when it's been time to build the um build the bunk beds the uh i don't, I don't know the, the bits of furniture or whatever there's times when my wife has said i want to do that she i want to do i want to physically be the one who does that it's an achievement it's an achievement and if you achieve something that you want to do it's going to make you happy or happier, definitely. I'm not saying you'll spend the rest of your life dancing, you know, up on the table about that, uh, about that bunk bed you built four years ago. But I am saying the, these are the, these are like every day. You know, I, I think anyone in their dog could at least understand the link. If the only reason you were able to complete a certain thing that you wanted to do. And the only reason you were able to do it was because you had the strength to do it. That's an achievement. And that's going to make you feel happy. Oh, let's flip the coin. Let's flip the coin. And let's say, well, say so you didn't do it. Say so you went in the gym and you were like, right. 170 kilos got your I'm on you I own you and you go to lift it and you get about an inch or two off the floor of that and it doesn't it doesn't work yeah okay you don't feel very happy about that okay so people say well there you are then so that one session ruined your life no it didn't 
you didn't get the, your main exercise, you go into your accessories. You go into your accessory exercises and you finish on a high. You finish on an activity, a physical activity that you know you can complete. Still has a resistance to it. It's not like you say, right, I failed my 170 kilogram deadlift attempt. I'm going to do three jumping jacks and walk out. No, obviously it has, <laughs> you're going to want something positive. From a deadlift, you're probably going to want to, you're probably going to lift something before you leave. What you could even do, you could take, say the, say you were testing for a one rep max, you could take 20, 30 kilograms off and you could say, right, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to finish on three reps on 140. And say you've been testing for a one rep max. So you'd only got one rep for 140 previous. But this time you've gone back and you've gone and got three. Or maybe two. Maybe just two. But you finished on a positive. You walked out. Now, are you going to remember that 170 kilograms that you missed for a little while? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to play on your mind. It is going to play on your mind. But you are going to go back and recharge, regrow. You learn. You learn. But yeah, in terms of physical health, mental health, I, yeah, you get stronger, you improve both of them. I 100% will die on that hill. <laughs> and like I say, I honestly do, I, I, I don't see how being Health, let's say healthy strong, just to cut through any other BS. I don't see how being <coughs> healthy strong is going to shorten someone's life. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. But I, I just don't see how. I don't see how. Watch video clips of Mark Felix, anything recent. Like I say, the guy's into his 50s and he's still competing and he's winning. And there's terms of what it, the good it can do for you, you know. Through, um, obviously, people might say, "Oh, being stronger doesn't give you healthier lungs. Going for a run gives you healthier lungs." Yeah, but being strong helps as well, doesn't it? Your conditioning, conditioning gets you stronger. Doesn't it? Might not get you mammoth, but you do some heavy conditioning or even heavy, heavy cardio. Well, cardio could be a weighted walk, you know? Chuck a weighted vest on yourself and go for a brisk walk. So I suppose you could count, that could be counted as a heavy cardio. And you're going to, and you're going to tell me that your core's going to get weaker from doing that? Of course it's not, it's going to get stronger. So yeah, the organs as well. Now, obviously, well, we've got to be fair. Let's look at the negative side of getting stronger. You're going to be weaker. I'm so <laughs> That's basically it. Oh, no, no, no. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll be fair. I'll be fair. The negatives to getting stronger. you got to put the effort in. Maybe you don't have the time. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. You're like, well, I don't have the time. Most people can find the time if they really want to. If they really, if it's if it is that important, you can get yourself to bed that uh, that little bit earlier, so you can get up that little bit earlier, so you can get your workout in and then carry on with the rest of the day. It's not really that hard, but maybe for a lot of people, it's like look time. Maybe someone said, look, twenty minutes. That's all I've got all day spare is 20 minutes take that 20 minutes and lift some weights during that 20 minutes and if you say you've got no time i've got to go out for a walk to get the shopping that's all right you walk there empty-handed buy enough shopping you have some heavy bags to walk home with do some weighted walks coming home 
any way, any way you do anything physical, find a way of make it more challenging. Like I said, from carrying some heavy bags to buying yourself a weighted vest to buying yourself a cheap rucksack and chucking the yellow pages in there. I don't even do the yellow pages anymore. But it, there's just ways of doing it. There's just ways of making your life more active. And then what you do with the activities that you do in your life, you add resistance to those activities that you do in your everyday life. And that will improve your strength. And that 20 minutes that you've got, that's all you've got. All you've got in the world is 20 minutes. Lift some weights. You, you do that with that 20 minute gap. I've got 20 minutes and that's all. Okay. We'll make we'll make today a back day for you. Deadlift. 20 minutes. Not non-stop. Don't be stupid. But obviously you build up some sort of uh, routine to it. Build up to a max rep. A one rep. A one rep. Uh, then take off. Seven, then take. 75%, rep it out in fives, three sets of five, five sets of five, whatever you got, in, in, in within those 20 minutes. Then the next day, shoulder day, well, it's all right, do overhead press. Day after that, leg day, squat, squat. Uh, next day, oh, my chest, bench. Squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press. The four, the big four, compound movements. Take the take four days throughout the week. Take take twenty minutes out of the week of those four days and do that. And you don't have to do that, but that's an example of how you can do it. Right. So people say, right. So the negatives to getting stronger, you're going to be weaker. Time. Well, we've just that diet. Ah, this could be a fair enough one. People could say, "I don't have the money to eat enough, purchase enough protein to consume to get myself stronger." Because I'm not, I know I'm not going to get stronger with a rubbish diet of cheap, nasty food. Fair enough. Tins of tuna in the UK. There are budget, sh sort of slightly a budget sh budget shops you can go to, where a tin of tuna is around fifty five p, sixty p, something like that. Tuna's got about nearly twenty five twenty five grams of protein. I think they are. So do that, and get yourself some eggs. No, I know eggs aren't cheap. I know what. Well, they're not really cheap. Cheapish. Well, it depends on what money you got. I mean, they wouldn't break your bank, would they? So, yeah, I'd say just, just do that then. Just focus on eggs and tuna. Chuck maybe... Have maybe... Maybe an egg day in it, egg day or a tuna day. Or, or eat both. Have have a couple of eggs with your, um, with your breakfast. And have a tuna tuna or tuna sandwich or something either either as a snack or as your lunch and then add some bits to it it can be done it can be done so yeah those are the main reasons i personally believe why being strong helps or is good it's good it's definitely gooder than it is badder to, to, to be a little bit stronger because there are so many times within your life when you're going to have to pick up something that may not want to be picked up. Anyone with children? It's the other way around with me. <laughs> School morning before I leave the before we've even stepped foot out of the house. House the house. My youngest will go. My legs are tired. It's not code, Dad. You're carrying me all the way to school, and I do it. Would I do it if I couldn't? No. No. Would I feel a little bit rubbish about myself if I couldn't lift my kids up and carry them? Yeah. 
And if the only reason I didn't do it was because... All right, all right, fine, fine. If the only reason I couldn't do it was because I was just too physically weak to do it, I would feel, personally, I'd feel a bit bad about myself. That's just me, though. That's me. This is not a slate on anyone else, but this is just me, personally. Obviously, do I like being strong? Yes, I do. I'm not mega strong. I'm not as strong as I'd like to be. I do want to be stronger. I would like to, I would like to be a little bit stronger, yeah. Um, why am I happy with my strength at the moment? Yeah, yeah. It's a progression. I am progressing. What I am not doing is regressing. Re <laughs> I don't even think regressing is a word. Um, but yeah, there it is. There it is. Why be strong? Because it's better than being weak. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that actually sounds quite brutal, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah, but that... <laughs> there you go, in a nutshell. Why be strong? It's better than being weak. <laughs> oh, we'll get hated for that comment. I'm sure I will. There's going to be people scathing at me. Right, but uh, there it is. There you go. As I, I, I know I quickly mentioned competition. Uh, I'm going to do another video for that one because I'm going to try and keep... At, try and have at least one video a week out just so I can still <laughs> exist in the internet world uh, yeah there you go well, well check out my um, which page <laughs> uh, YouTube no I'm on YouTube <laughs> check out my Facebook page Paul Hiley Lifts Go on the website, paulhidelifts.co.uk. I have uh, still got the Ho Ho Heavy program for sale. That's going to carry on being for sale. Um, even after Christmas, because I think it still applies. I think Santa still has to remain strong throughout the year. Because it's a lot of work to do in one night. And, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got the uh, personalised program still selling there. Um possibly consider writing up a new program but i haven't fully decided yet if you have a goal you are unsure if you, if you are sure of a goal that you have but are unsure about how you are going to address it drop in a comment drop in a comment uh this isn't a plug this isn't me saying oh well the only way i'll do anything is if you buy a personalized program no just uh Drop down the comments and stuff, and maybe we can come up with a. Uh, yeah, we'll come up with another program based around a comment or an idea from someone else, from a goal. Let's say you're on a, just a weight loss goal, and then we'll do we'll think up a program which will get you stronger and lose your weight. Yeah, yeah. There will be a lot of conditioning in that program. Right, okay, so there we go. Boom, done. As I say, there'll be another video along next week, and it is going to be talking about possibly my first strongman competition. But yeah, uh, more on that later. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and for now, as I always leave you, keep strong, keep happy, and keep healthy. Ta-da. <laughs>